What's up, YouTube? Today I have very uh, cool thing to show you with mobile development. What I gonna show you today? I'm gonna show you. I just build a very simple login form with uh, Ionic. As you can see, we have two platform with iOS and Android, and this is for mobile development and also we can run it in real device but today I'm, I, I just want to show you just a little bit how to design login form very very nice and clean so let's get started I'm not coding but I just show you how the code work and the, the source image and element that I get from uh, the internet so first thing first let's see the element what I have let's see with uh, yes this one and I just I go to first thing I just set up my Ionic so if you want to if you want to learn with Ionic you just go to uh, Google and type Ionic yeah they have everything the documentation and how to set up with Ionic but this one I I already uh, set up my uh, environment so if you wanna start with the first project you need to go to the get started the footer gets getting started and to set up the npm with node.js and you can start with the project we have blank project with tab and with uh, side menu but I just start with uh, with terminal or in window you can use uh, CMD and you tap and it start um, your app name and I just start with blank so first thing you have to set up need this one and second this one and you will have for example I go to my desktop CD desktop and I just start with my root file my root and I need start uh, start Uh, my app name so let's create one app called uh, my login and you have to get the name so I get blank and it will download the source code from the kit and you need to wait for a minute just a few minutes so after you download it it takes for several minutes but please wait first thing when you tap npm they will say that you don't have uh, npm install but I, I already set up the npm so you have to install uh, node.js in your OS like for Windows or Mac so you have to download it and install it after you download install it you can tap npm after you can install uh, tap npm you can 
install and so just see the see everything step by step so let's go to our terminal so I just skip this one because I already have one file this one yeah we can download it but I already have one file that have a login folder so when you go to login folder you will have with hook config file and when you go to config.xml you can see the bundle ID with the unique yeah if you know how the mobile works you will see the bundle ID uh, and then you can this one is the node module for all the source component and equipment they store in it and the resource the slash screen or icon and the source we, we work in source folder so you you go to uh, this one we can store image or whatever like make sound or whatever but we work on apps and we work on pegs so I have one peg that's called home and I have three files like for for HTML SAS and TS but I work with HTML and uh, TS file but this one we go to a home page for HTML so let's go and I have yeah I have three files but my code is very messy but you can make it like a class or ID to style it in SAS but I show you very quickly how my my design for this one I have logo and I have two elements for username and password I have one button the lab bear forgot password when I click forgot password it will push the page to forgot <coughs> password page but in this video I'm gonna show you how only a login form page and when you click register it will go to the register page and you can register the account so let's wrap it like this and see how it works so first thing I just have one I just have the element with the body take yeah and close body and I have one source file for the background the background that I get from the ans plus if you want to get ans plus you can generate it in you go to ans plus I will put it in description you can get it like this one ans plus with enhance and you can random it with parameter random parameter and you want to see uh, the black and white you can get it and list also you can get the list with the type of image and you can get the specific image also and the, the interesting thing one I get the blur so I get the blur image with the gravity so I just put the 
tp with the slash width and height and my parameter is gravity and blur as you can see right here with the width and height and blur and gravity with is and I set the background repeat no repeat and background size 100% and high 100% and yeah that how my background works so another one is I just go to get the uh, grid element with the row so you can you can go to and with the grid and go to grid you can load it it is like bootstrap or materialize uh, framework it work like um, HS um, as um, um, D and LG but I used with a uh, coal or coal like we have the full width with coal 12 but I used a uh, coal so I divide by 3 for 1 this one and coal 4 for the logo and the coal for another code for for this one so I just generate the, my logo from my source and then I just have two other element for username and password so I get from the ion list and I have one ion item and I just start it to make it border like this and put the place holder and another one for password also it's all the same and I just tie with the place holder with the Y color so I just have the style you can make it for the class with another file or you can use it in SAS but this one I just make it quickly and the last thing we have three elements for button uh forgot password label and the register button so i have one button for we have background color like this to make it similar like our logo and we have label label and the last one is for the outline button so if you want to get the button element you can go you also can go to uh, and the component just tap and the component and choose your version so the latest version is 3.2.0 so you go to button element where is it button 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 yeah button and just you can go you can get default you can get secondary and you can get round or outline whatever you want so this is all my layout works so if you want to get my source code I will put it in github in my account so I put it in the description below in my video so you can get it and you can make it style like a class or ignore file so it's easy for you to make it or verify it later so I think that's all for my video so for next video I will show you how I post when I click login so it will get the API with verify with username and password in my server and if it's true they have my username and password it will post it to homepage 
when I click forgot password, I can make it, I can push it to forgot password page and verify with my API also and register. It's all the same. Click register and push to page register and verify with API. When you click register, you can have one account. Yeah. So that's all with my video.